Hi everybody and welcome back. Although this video about the Nikola Bully Cat press conference will be short, I'm sure those who know me will detect the irritability in my voice. This time the press conference was led by Peter Wilson, Assistant Chief Constable and Detective Superintendent Becky Smith, who it now turns out is the senior investigating officer on this case. The chief constable took everyone through what has been done and what resources have been used. According to him, 40 detectives have gone through numerous pieces of CCTV, dash cam footage and tips. According to this assistant chief constable, they have visited 300 premises and spoken to 300 people. And according to him, they received approximately 1,500 tips. According to the assistant chief constable, they have used helicopters and drones. And according to the assistant chief constable, there is absolutely no evidence that a crime had been committed or that a third party had been involved. Unfortunately for the Chief Constable and what he does not say is that there is also no evidence that a crime was not committed and that a third party was not involved and because they did not secure or close the park and secure the scene they likely will never know whether there was any evidence of whatever now granted i'm not there but the assistant chief constable said that they had the north west underwater search unit there and also had extensive land searches. Now, I'm confused. I know someone who lives in the area, and according to her, she has not seen anything resembling an extensive land search. She says she has seen coppers walking two by two down pathways and poking here and there, but nothing resembling an organized grid search. She says maybe they are stepping up the land search now, but in the first week there wasn't much in terms of an organized search on land going on. She's not disputing that they have used helicopters and drones, but definitely not excessively or in such a way that a layman would recognize it as unusual activity. She says she won't dispute that they have by now visited 300 properties and spoke to 300 people. But if that is true, then it is a recent development, say in the last week or week and a half. Anyway, to cut a long story short, my friend thinks the assistant chief constable is exaggerating just a little bit. But it was Detective Superintendent Becky Smith who had me pull my hair and scratch at my skin. Firstly, try and look professional and take that fringe out of your eyes. Very early on, she indicates that Nicola was immediately classified and graded high risk because she had certain specific vulnerabilities. When she said that, the hair on the back of my neck stood up and I told myself, here it comes, the perfect excuse for the police and a way to blame the victim. I knew it. I knew there would be something because the police had been heavily criticised and now it is not only about Nicola, her whereabouts and safety, but also about their ego and saving face. 
but we'll come back to this. Becky starts off on her hypothesis and maybe she should rather not have used that word because had she steered clear of the subject she would have come across much better than she did. Yes, she did what every failed investigation, every failed celebrity and every failed politician is doing these days. She blames the press and of course social media. She says her main working hypothesis is that Nicola had gone into the water but that it was misconstrued by the press but then she repeats that it was and still is her main working hypothesis excuse me what i actually turned the video back and re-listened yes honestly becky take the hair out of your face and listen to yourself she goes through the timeline 8 40 nicola drops the kids off at school she sends two messages one to her boss and one to a friend 901 she logs into a work call 910 she is in the upper field and willow is now off her harness 920 nicola's cell phone moves towards the bench area 933 somebody finds willow untied running between the bench and the gate the harness is found on the ground and i'm not sure whether the cell phone was also found on the ground and placed on the bench or whether it was found on the bench Becky then goes through the places Nicola could not have left by as there was CCTV footage. But again, like I said in my previous video, I find this particular narrative so naive that it almost makes me laugh. Whether there was a crime, an assault or abduction, or whether Nicola wanted to disappear by herself, unseen there is no way they would have chosen to leave via areas covered by cameras no maybe they would leave under the cover of trees come on guys we are not talking about a tiny mid-city park fenced in by a six foot chain link fence here this is a rather vast rural area. Betty says that the Fitbit did not provide them with any information because it has not been synced for a number of days. Okay, what does she mean by this? Did Nicola not sync it for days prior to her disappearance or did police take a week or two before they attempted to extract data from the Fitbit app. I'm going to guess the latter. Becky says they are monitoring Nicola's social media. So if the public notices the accounts being active, then please don't call in because it will be them. It will be the police. Oh gosh. How I despair. What is this woman thinking? Obviously, she is not thinking because if there is a perpetrator or perpetrators she just issued a warning to them not to go near nicola's social media what an idiot according to becky they have searched the empty house at least three times now why if you search a place properly with light and luminol and dogs and people once you've done that surely you do not have to go back a second or a third time to search do you according to becky they received the tip about the red van 
but according to Becky, they receive a lot of false information. Well, my question to Becky is then, if you do not know where Nicola is or what happened to her, how can you tell any information is actually false? Are you psychic or are you God Almighty? According to Becky, they also received a tip about two fishermen who were seen that morning. And according to Becky, there is absolutely nothing suspicious about that. According to Becky, she has made numerous appeals for these two fishermen to come forward. But to date, they haven't. But you know, now three weeks in, there is absolutely nothing suspicious about that either. Becky will not put boots to the ground in an attempt to find those fishermen because she did not see them on one of the cameras. Yes, Becky is still adamant that nothing suspicious happened and therefore we can all forget about her properly and thoroughly following up on anything which could point to anything nefarious. So this is now about Becky Smith being right and not about finding Nicola in my humble opinion. Okay guys, I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm having a few issues doing the narration here, but I'll be back soon. Hang in there. Bye.